absolutely pitch black. That's, I can't it's see. Sort of water it. all over the floor. It's freezing. It's so quiet and eerie. What's that? It's all falling through. Oh, I'll keep it. Hello and welcome to another video. This video is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. I've used HelloFresh before, before they were a sponsor. And when they do sponsor videos, they send me some food that I can cook and it is a delight. You don't have to go shopping, everything's just delivered to you. There's over a hundred recipes to choose from each month. And they have different ranges, they have like a rapid range, so if you want things that'll be ready like in 20 minutes. They have a healthy range with recipes under 650 calories. It's just really convenient and the food is delicious. They give you a sheet of paper with clear instructions on how to cook your food. And for me, I enjoy it because I don't normally follow recipes, so it's nice just to put my tunes on, turn your phone off, and just get stuck into a little bit of cooking. They even send you all the right measurements for everything. It just takes the stress out of everything because I know I've just got a healthy meal that I can cook up in no time and there's no food waste because all the ingredients are perfectly measured out for that meal. It's definitely worth checking out. They've been kind enough to give us a discount code for you guys, so use my discount code and get 60% off your first box plus 25% off the next two months. I'll be back this Sunday with a full hiking video and each and every Sunday will be a hiking wild camping video but the midweek look at this as a midweek bonus every now and again i might do a midweek bonus sponsored video but it just keeps the channel ticking over and i hope you don't mind i've remastered and re-edited a video from six years ago which not a lot of new followers will have seen it shows an abandoned tunnel which is no longer accessible and also if you stick around till the end of the video you can see the slight beginnings of the medic. I didn't quite know what I was doing, it wasn't quite medic yet, but it was a work in progress. Right, without further ado, let's get back into it. And we're back. It's a pretty, it's quite a different one this. Look at all them. Hey mate, how's it going? There's too many. I'm outnumbered. I reckon I could probably spin in back fist about five of them. And then I reckon they just swamp me. Trample me to death, I reckon. Five of them though, I reckon I've got five. He'd get it, she'd get it first. Spinning back fist. Anyway, I don't know where, I don't know where I am or how I'm gonna get to where I'm going, but I know where I'm going. As I say, it's something a little bit different this time. I'm gonna go find an abandoned tunnel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through that abandoned tunnel together. It's going to take you with me just in case I get scared. <laughs> I won't get scared. I will get scared. But you're going to come with me anyway just in case it kicks off. And what it is, it's an old railway tunnel. I think it's over a mile long as well. Curiosity has got the better of me. Truth be told, I'm lost. I sort of thought I was doing a shortcut. Turns out I'm a klutz and I'm lost. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is just amble. I mean, it's not often you get lost, so it's a nice feeling. I sort of have a rough idea in which direction to go, so I'm just gonna go in that direction and see what happens. I might find some new stuff. I feel like, hey. In this sort of society that us humans have created, where we work long hours and for many days on end, and we have unrealistic goals thrust upon us, you know, with consumerism and commercial shit, and we're taught to sort of ignore all our natural instincts and fit into this synthetic world that just isn't, for me anyway, it's just not conducive with my animal instincts and how I feel as a, as a person, as a human. And so sometimes it can feel like you're in a tunnel, that you're trapped in this, in a bit of a tunnel and it's always nice to be able to see a light at the end of it. Whether that's like a holiday you're going on or a camping trip or hanging out with your friends or, or whatever. And, so when life does get a little bit tunnely, you've just got to keep plodding on to the light. One big metaphor today, I think. 
I get a lot of people asking whether, well they don't ask if I was in the SS, S, they ask when I was in the SS because they just automatically assume I'm in the SS because they see me, they see my power and my hand to hand skills, they see me being able to blend into my natural environment at the drop of a hat and no, <laughs> funnily enough, I've never been in the SS. But I have seen um, Under Siege 1 and 2. I've had to, I found a river, I've made it down to this this river that looks quite nice. I've had to come down, I can't get back out basically, so I'm pot committed to this route. So I've got my wellies on, so I'm just going to follow this river. And hopefully it'll lead me to where I want to go, or at least in that vicinity. Right, here we have Sands End Tunnel. Uh, as I later found out, it's part of two tunnels. One, which is this one we're looking at now, is uh, I think it's just over a mile in length, and the second one is just 300 yards. They were used to divert the train because the train was originally supposed to go along the top of the cliff, but because of erosion, it wasn't deemed safe, so they had to cut inland and they created these tunnels uh, back in 1883 but they've not been used <coughs> since 1958 so they've not been maintained since 1958 and uh, the northern portal of the Sands End Tunnel is partly collapsed that happened in 2008 so it's, it's not recommended to access the tunnels because of the poor condition um, and as I say it's because they've not been maintained since 1958 you know if I'd have known these things maybe I'd have thought twice about going in uh, they're also said to be haunted, which doesn't surprise me at all, by such celebrity ghosts as Jeremy Beadle, for one. So again, if I'd have known that, I probably would have thought twice about going in. But let's go and have a look. Oh, I'm having second thoughts. Apparently it's a mile, over a mile long. And it goes around and it comes out into a field or like a side of a cliff or something. Should we give it a little go and just see it, see where we get? <laughs> if we get too scared then we'll just tap out. We're not here to prove anything, are we? Come on. No. Oh. My torch is running out of battery as well. It's really poor, look at it. That's all the light I've got. That's terrible. Look at that. It's quite, look at that man, if my torch goes. Look, that's what you can see with the torch. Watch without the torch. With no torch. Bang. Absolutely pitch black. That's, I can't see anything. There's sort of water all over the floor. That's creepy, man. So creepy. Look at that. What gets you as well is the cold, it's really cold, like a cold blast of air coming through it. It's freezing. Uh. 
this is probably a good time for me to interject just to say that these tunnels are now fully bricked up and there is no access to these tunnels. Um, it was They were bricked up many years ago and I was probably one of the last people to ever go through these tunnels. And unless you know it's 100% safe and legal to do so, I wouldn't recommend exploring abandoned tunnels yourself. It's so quiet, it's so quiet and eerie. I'm not scared, it's too hard to be scared. Right, here we go. Ah, my word. There's light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I want relieved to see that. What? Let's kill the kill the torch. <laughs> Nothing. Classic. Look at this. For Creepsville. And the place I emerged, as you can see here, is a place where the steam train would come out of the tunnel and into another tunnel, but it was super overgrown with bramble and metal. I'll tell you what, man. Look at that, where I've just emerged from. There's another tunnel, just ah, all these nettles, <laughs> ah, another tunnel. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. Ah, oh, my legs are on fire, man. That is so overgrown, here we go. A curse. A curse on all who enter here. Steve-o. Right, Steve-o. If you're in here, son, let's dance. Because you're stepping, you're standing between me and my way out of here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Shall we run through this little bit? Probably not. We don't really want to make much noise, I guess. It's just a nice walk in the park. That's all. Just a very dark, wet, terrifying park. It's all part of the adventure, isn't it? What's that? Oh, man. Look in there. It's all fallen through. Oh, I'll keep it pitch black. And there's some light. Yes. Please don't be brambly and please don't be nettly. Ah, please don't be nettly. My legs are burning. Oh. Okay. Let's kill this torch. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of here. Uh. Oh. Goodbye, terrifying tunnels of doom. <laughs> Until we meet again. We're never meeting again. Look at state legs. Just shredded but right forget that that was good let's get our bearings make sure we don't have to go for any more tunnels <laughs> this is it though this is the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel all right lads how's it going how's it going let's get away from these heifers and I'm going to have a brew. Don't go that way lads. It's all, it's a terrible tunnel. Real dark. You wouldn't like it, especially you. 
little and you'd cack it or pat it, whatever. That was brilliant. What a brilliant day. I was scared at times, I'm not gonna I'm not afraid to admit it, it was pretty scary in them tunnels, but you know there's a light at the end, so you just soldier on. You just soldier on, as in life. A metaphor for life. I'm just gonna enjoy this cuppa. And take a bit of time to appreciate the light at the end of the tunnel. Thanks for watching. I think I found a Pokemon. It's another Pokemon. I'm on a roll. It's easy. Third Pokemon of the day, come on. I'm getting good at this.